How are you guys doing? I love you've been asking for me to make a mage character and a mage guide. So I thought, why not just go through right now and explain what I've learned so far? Because we did in basically in a few days just smash out and get our guy all the way to 95, which wasn't even too bad. And we've been playing primarily the Fire Mage. So this is why this video is going to be telling you what I've learned playing Fire Mage. I'm going to go over my talent page, my inscribed stone as well currently. I'm not telling you it's the meta thing, but it's what I've been running and honestly getting a lot of success out of. And then we're going to go into all the skills and combos and how this class works. Because the thing is, I thought playing Mage was going to be easy. I've played Mage on World of Warcraft. It's not really that difficult to play in that game. Um, it's really easy to understand what the buttons are for. But in this game, especially for the Fire Mage, the Fire Mage is pretty clever because it's a way of... For basic players to get into, you're going to have a load of fun. But the more and more you play this class, the more and more you actually learn some secret nuances, which I am going to showcase in some gameplay to it later on, right? And the whole thing with the mage class is the heat, right? So I need to explain this heat mechanic before we break down anything. Because the way fire mages get their whole power is you basically make a timed window or like a timed frame where you try to put all your burst in together because then at the end it's going to generate so much heat and that heat will make you do more damage right so what a way of doing that is your free right so free is a way of you generating your heat and depending on what talents you have when this gets blown up you will retain some of them right depending on how high you go and to get heat, all you have to basically do is deal any sort of damage with any of the other spells, apart from your six, which is kind of a enhancement, which we'll go over. So that's kind of the premise of Fire Mage, right? And at first, some people might be like, oh, that's kind of easy to understand. But it's really not when you are trying to maximize what this class can do, because I've started to realize I will play this really wrong in dungeons and raids, right? So first things first, now we kind of know what this mage wants to do. Let me just go over some talent pages and inscribed stones that we've been running, right? So if we bring up the inscribed stone first, this is where I'm at right now. I literally got all of this progress in a single day, guys. So if you're wondering how much you can progress, I did not too bad. I hit level 40 in one day. The next day, I just pushed all the way with gearing and doing whatever I can, even side missions for reputation. And I got to this point so far, and then I had to do other stuff. Otherwise, I probably could have continued on. Um, but this is the way I've been running my page so far. I've been trying to get as much crit as possible. And you're going to see it later on. That's going to be really, really important. In your inscribed stone, if you're listening, a really good tip and trick is when it comes to the emblems, I'm going to go over mine in a moment. But the emblems you want, and I've realized this, is in these two slots, you want an emblem that has that special effect where it says it gives you 50%. There we go. So this one says lower right node attributes plus 50%. So what this means is if I had this in this slot, this one here, this stamina is on the lower right side. That is going to get 50% more stats. And crit is so important for our build that you realistically want emblems that are hitting these crit nodes. So you really want a crush or an overload, which states, you know, um, the top left or the top right, whichever ones you can put in, will increase these two crit nodes. So you can get them 50% extra on top. You will thank me later, honestly, and you'll see why when we're going down into the player menu. Um, and then we go all the way up. You can kind of see getting the crit again, moving up on the ladder, moving up. And then we've hit on this right side for the specialization effect. I've kind of gone this side for Omni and main attributes. You'll see again why Omni is pretty important if you're able to get this in the mage class in general, right? Um, my emblems I am running, just to give you guys um, an idea, I'm running Overload and I am running Crush as my first two. These two I feel like you have to run if you're playing Flame Mage, right? If you play the Fireboy and you want to do maximum damage, this just kind of makes sense. Each crit damage you deal or direct damage increases your crit damage by 1.32%. And this stacks up to four times, right? So that's kind of nice. Six seconds of extra 
crit we're not gonna not say no to that and this says crit rate is increased by 2.2 um, uh, percent every one second after entering battle uh this effect will reset after the next crit and can stack up to 99 times so basically this is allowing us these two combos as you can kind of see allowing us to kind of get almost that 100 percent crit uptime it allows us to keep getting all of our crit rate with all of our stats and just keep going off because that's kind of what we want to do with crit when you play in the five age the next three i have is strive high energy potion and warlike surge at the moment i actually think warlike surge is a really good one because we're going to be using skills all the time so increasing our focus um by six percent really good um so it just allows us to penetrate even harder do more damage these two could be situational i'm happy for anyone in the comment section right now if you want to comment a different you know emblem for high energy potion or strive but i do like both of these because they do a lot a lot of direct damage as well um with our skills which is really easy so it makes sense to run this for me at the moment so those are kind of my inscribed stones hopefully i've taught you something as well when it comes to what you're kind of looking for with these emblems and these bottom slots especially right so when it comes to the skills and the talents right the major talent i'll show you the talent page but the major talents you really want to take advantage of is all of the talents that are basically allowing you to fire off more skills and keep comboing basically off right so really good example of this is the actual tree at the very top allowing you to get three charges of searing that's a really good one around here is just allowing you to get more damage and kind of what my build is doing is trying to reduce as much downtime of the heat bomb while retaining as much heat of the um of the bomb right so you can see we're getting as much reduction as we can that's kind of what we're going for in this build as much cdr as much uptime on all of our skills right so now we've kind of gone over that let's just showcase how to generate heat because we've kind of gone a nice you know learning learner's road so far right so our skills is pretty simple our first two are both single target our third skill is what's going to be our heat initiator so that's going to allow us to start generating heat our fourth skill is an aoe skill and what's really cool about this skill is the fact that it's a guaranteed crit and it's a delayed bomb. So what this says, is because it's a 2.5 second cooldown, if you've got the fast enough fingers, boys, you are able to set this up to do some monstrous combo damage. Same with Fire Tornado. This, if you've got the right talent, can sometimes glow, allowing you to instant cast it. But this is our AoE skill. It does say for every target that this is hitting, it's going to reduce its cooldown by one second. So just to showcase that for this example, we just throw this over here. You'll notice it's on a five second and boom, instantly reduces down to the one second and continues, right? So let's go into some combos, 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 combos. So there's a couple of combos that I actually really do like. And um, there's a few different ones that I've found out. So one of them is the basic combo, as I'm going to call it. Um, and this is using mainly the talent that does state that we get extra damage if you have it online. Um from fireball right so where is it this one so upon hit fireball enables you to do six percent more damage for eight seconds so this is kind of allowing us to open up with it or if you're really good you can try and find the timed window to apply it just before everything else but what we're going to be doing is pressing one into our four twice into our three into our twos and then into our one again right and if we do it right what's gonna happen is basically we've got a damage buff online straight away but the main combo is trying to put two blazing orbs down with the heat bomb to maximize the amount of damage instances that is happening onto that target and then once you've done that you're going into all of your charges of your searing sting and the cool thing with searing sting is as well while you're doing any of these combos afterwards so even potentially after you finish searing sting into fireball you might get a reset of searing sting so you can kind of go kind of crazy with this right so what it's going to look like is four with your four four three two two <laughs> two and look we're already over 23 there 26 and we'll maybe hit 29 if we're looking. You can see we've already got three left over. So just again, 
We pressed one four three three uh uh one four four three two two two. It's a crazy combo, I know. Um, uh, it's a mouthful to say, but once you get it going, you will never forget this combo, guys. Because look at how much this is doing. We're at twenty seven thirty. Cut there. We hit the thirty stacks just to showcase it, right? And um, there is a way of doing it exactly the same way, but you don't realistically need to open up with the fireball. So you could go for like four, four, three, two, one, two, one. And you can see we're able to get that weaving of skills. And by doing that, what we're trying to do by going one, two, one, two is we're trying to use this talent there of our mage skill to potentially get that eight percent chance of getting a reset cooldown and if you do you could ignore the fireball that time and go seeing string seeing string fireball you can see what i'm saying so it's really complicated this class honestly and this is only touching the surface of it guys again you could go into certain skills in here and one of them if i can find it right is the AOE skill. So there's one, I should have it actually. I think I've got it actually equipped. So basically there's a chance, we'll keep doing it, where sometimes the AOE skill becomes off cooldown instantly when you press your free, right? And that's a really good one too, because you can bob and weave that fifth skill into the combo too. So sometimes you can go three, four, four, two, five, two, two, and you're just cooking guys. You're absolutely cooking, right? So what I'm going to showcase though after this bit um, is actually a really big tip and trick because this is something that I learned um, only recently while playing this in a dungeon is a way that you can actually carry high amounts of heat energy. And I think that is the key to learning how to play this class. If you're able to learn how to store a giant load of energy before you go into certain fights and then open up with it and then do your combo you are a force to be reckoned with so let's showcase that i have to go to an actual mob i can't do it on these guys unfortunately but let's do a little you know youtuber click and snap of the fingers Yes, we did the YouTube thing. I know people hate it, but fuck it. It's an easy, easy, easy transition, right? Um, but you can see we're in the open world. And if you spot very carefully, I'm on 19 heat. So it's a little bit hard to see. I will move my guy a little bit. So maybe you can spot it in the, the coloring maybe or something. Um, but you can see we're on 19 heat, right? And we're not doing anything. Somehow I've stocked up heat and now it's going down. You can see it reducing, right? How do you do that? That is a really important thing with flame mages because if you're not doing this, when you're going into raids and dungeons, you're not preparing basically yourself for the maximum damage in the next group of adds all going towards the raid boss. So what this is, is basically allowing your heat bomb to be on the target. But if you can kill that target or if that target dies within the raid or group, before your heat bomb detonates that will allow you to keep this heat bomb stats so what that means is if you press four four three two and you can see it's dead i'm on 13 heat and you're going to watch it stay on 13 heat and that means i can go to this ad and then press four and then press my three two two and look, we've got it again. Now we're at 24 heat. And you can kind of see where this is going, right? So now we can press 4, 3, get this thing killed again. We're on 32 stacks, boys. 32. That's crazy. And now, again, if we just hit the 5, let's put the heat bomb on it. 4, 2, 2. Boom, we're on 38 stacks. And then, well, obviously you can do that on a bigger ad or on one of the bigger stuff is just press the free, do your main combo, and once it's done, the 38 stacks, boom, look at that, 5,000 damage dealt, all just from stacking up that heat correctly. So it is a really important mechanic, and I think it's one of the actual secrets to the fire mage that you actually need to understand to get the maximum out of this class because people are not doing that and people are wondering how the hell are people getting such high heat and doing absurd damage with the flame mage right and that is how 
So, to finish off the video, what we're going to talk about is the final skill. Because we haven't really mentioned it so far, because a lot of the combos and stuff with this class is generally all what I've spoken about. But the sixth skill in this game for our class, you can see it's on a 40 second cooldown, which is really, really nice for our class. It means it's got a really high uptime. We gain extra damage equal to 10% of our attack plus 10 to enemies within the range. So you're basically doing a ton of extra damage. And the way this six skill works is, is it's on its own cooldown. So what we mean by that is if I press my one, you'll notice every skill apart from my six is ha having a little timer, right? It has a little timer that it has to fulfill before the next one is able to go in. But you'll notice the six doesn't. So what this allows you to do is actually use your six kind of whenever you want. And the best time to use your six is, as you can imagine, when that heat bomb is about to go off. So what you want to do generally with this flame boost is put your double four free then into your six just as you're about to um, hit your free and then do your combo and you're going to do the most amount of damage possible and we can show that now going back into the silver lit uh, military zone because you now have a good understanding of what we've been showcased and what we've learned so far playing fire mage and we're going to do the same thing with ice mage guys don't worry i am going to make an ice mage video if you've enjoyed this one so far just give a big um, thumbs up hit the like button so far if you've enjoyed this video as we're making our way to those military quarters just to showcase off this last finale combo of just kind of like what i've learned what you need to do to start doing some good dps with the fire mage right so let's go out and let's come in so what you want to do is like i said we want to use the main combo and you want to have the six in just before your your freeze going off right um, because that's gonna allow all of this damage to come off, right? So as soon as these fours and you hit the three, press six, because that's gonna enhance the damage of your fours, your twos, your ones, and the three all at once. So if we can do this fast enough, it's gonna be four, four, three, six, two, one. We've got an extension from the five. We can do the five, one, two, one. We've got a reset and we hit 28 stacks there from one go over 2300 dps dealt guys that is crap that is absolutely cracked. and the thing is i have not got the best build right now i'm gonna be honest with you i need so much more build and you can see my crit is increasing right it's increasing randomly and that's just because of the way my build works so it's always going to guarantee i am going to be critting when i'm using my skills which is very very important with our class um so just the last things off just to finish um this kind of build or just guide off for you guys i do want to go back into the talent pages to talk about you can see the crit so crit is so important for us because every time we are critting you see your first skill after hit bomb enjoys double bonus from your crit meaning <laughs> When we press our 4, 4, and 3, that 2 that we press is getting double the crit damage bonus that it should normally get because of this. And it's allowing us to do some absurd damage, right? On here, we can get Omni, and this is where I really want Omni as well. This is where you're allowing yourself to, again, gain more stats. And when you're casting stats, you can see you're increasing the next damage dealt of the fireballs, which is just really, really nice of this class. And cooldown, this is, again, a really important one. When Blazing Orb explodes, it pauses the fuse for the cooldown percentage times 35. Enhanced with cooldown when this a skill deals crit damage. So what this means is the more cooldown you get, and this is why cooldown is very, very important for our class. Anytime one of these orbs blow up while we have our heat bomb on, it's gonna pause the fuse time on it, right? So another way we're able to pause the fuse time is with the talent tree and the fire tornado. So if I can get it to trigger, hopefully, um, at some point, we'll, we'll just uh, press our seven. We'll see if we're able to get the free. So now you can see it's instantly triggering, right? 
The cool thing with that, by the way, you can hold it. You don't have to use it. So again, if you wait for all of your cooldowns, you could do something where you press like four, uh, three, th uh, three, six. Oh, I messed up my combo. So you press uh, three, four, four uh, with your six on five, two, two, two. You can do all sorts of stuff, but we're going to try it again. So three, uh, four, uh, two, two. Uh, we'll put the five in. That pauses the timer, as you see there, right? So when I use that five on the instant cast, you saw the timer go blue for a moment. Maybe just go back and rewatch that video, that part of the video again, and just hear me again. You'll see it happen. The pausing is really important, and that's what the cooldown reduction is going to allow you to do, but with the blazing orb. So you can see it stagger two times because there's two instances of damage happening on that heat bomb. So that is all I've learned today so far. Honestly, playing the fire mage. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This has been me, Mr. Sneaky. It's not the ultimate, ultimate guide like the other ones where we go through everything super, super in depth. But I thought, why not teach you guys what I've learned compared to what I've seen other guides? Because I know a lot of guides have kind of showcased some basic combos and stuff. But I don't think anyone's kind of showed you guys how you can hold heat how you can get the 40, 50, 60 stacks if you really wanted to in the right scenarios and abuse the way of actually preparing your stack meter for the boss to do some insane damage. So with that, smash the like, comment and subscribe. And with the next video, guys, stay safe, stay sneaky and peace out.